heron problems? Watch this. Okay, so massive problem. Most people have this problem, especially with um, smaller fish in particular, um, the heron. So herons will literally clean, clear you out if you let them. Most people have to have a net on or electric bents or whatever to try and actually stop them from taking your fish. Um, we've got another way of doing it actually. So he's been here for about 15 years and he's not had a single problem with the herons, all seagulls matter of fact. So just to let you know where we are. So we're, we're in, in, uh, in Sussex. Um, the beach is probably about 400 yards away so we've got loads of seagulls are everywhere um, and just behind us is a woodland and um, there's quite a few sort of like streams and, and, and channels there um, so the heron's always around here but literally 15 years not a single problem with the heron there's a perfect little landing zone here for it you know there's a little shelf around you could easily stand in if you wanted to walk around here you know help himself so this system is so cheap, probably one of the cheapest things out there and um, you know if you haven't done it already um, you might even be kicking yourself with why you didn't think of it. Okay so what we've done is heron proof the pond, I don't know if you can see it, not that, that's the washing line, behind me in the hedge up there he's put a few cables going across the pond and he hasn't got full Spider-Man on it, there's just a few cables, so don't worry. And then the nice thing about it, you, can, you can't even see them, honestly. You get so used to them. Um, but don't don't put fishing line or anything. You need, it needs to be thick enough so you, you basically the heron needs to see it. Otherwise, you'll be flying down and get tangled in it. So if you can see it, he won't land. Try it out for yourself. I, we put it on customers' ponds, it's the same thing, no problems. I hate nets. I think they look awful. The amount of ones we've built, put on a net just to cover it up. You know, they spent all that money on it and having a nice pond built, and you go and cover it up. Obviously, if you've got fish, you need to have something. So, a few lines over the top of the pond. You know, it might not suit everyone's garden really, but I think most people will be able to do it. You could even put a couple of posts up in the garden, put a few cables going across there. If you need any pond equipment, you can visit www.sussexpondsuppliers.co.uk. At the moment you can get £20 off your first order, we'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you for watching.